Welcome back. The AIA DMK nominee Karthik Thondaiman was declared elected by in the by-election to the Pudukota Assembly constituency. Thondaiman secured 1,1998 votes, defeating his immediate rival Zakir Hussain, the DMDK nominee, by a margin of 71,498 votes. Zahir had got 30,500 votes. Even as the results of the by-election to the uh, constituency were pouring in, Political observers felt that the election would make a difference in favour of the DMDK. Jagan Mohan Reddy's party, the YSR Congress, swept the Andhra Pradesh by polls, winning 15 of the 18 assembly seats and grabbing the Nellore Lok Sabha seat. The Congress managed to win two seats. It fed poorly in the 16 others, coming in up to third in 10 seats, ranking fifth in one and getting its deposits forfeited in five other seats. The TRS, meanwhile, won the seat of Parakal. The TDP won none. As results started pouring in, Jagan's mother reached the Chanchalguda prison where he is currently lodged after being arrested in connection with the disproportionate assets case to congratulate him. YSR Congress workers burst crackers, shouted slogans and carried party flags in celebration outside the jail. Congress party is not an uh, opposition party. It is a 125 years history party and is in power party. In a power party, Congress party is not getting even one seat out of 18. It is a shame to Congress party. Actually, Congress party has to resign after these results. Resign and go for a midterm poll. That is morally they have to do. But I don't think so. Mr. Kiran Kumar Reddy is a power monger. He will, he will try to continue. Andhra Pradesh ke political pura aaj, aaj ke din change hone wala hai. Aaj jo bhi ho raha hai, ye Jagan Mohan Reddy ka jeet hai. Ye sab TDP, Congress sab milke, humare adhyakshi ji ke jail mein lagaye the bhi, aaj jo result ho raha hai, wo pura Jagan Mohan Reddy ka jeet hai. Wo YSR ka beta hai, bolke kitre bhi badlam kare so, ye Congress TDP mein aaj bus sabit hone wala hai. Usliye ye jeet agle 14 ko Andhra Pradesh CM Moving on, the All India Faculty Federation of the IITs met Prime Minister Manmohan Singh today at his residence. The meeting comes after two weeks of dissent following the One Nation One Test proposal announced by the Human Resource Development Ministry headed by Kapil Sibyl. The AIF have submitted a letter to the Prime Minister opposing the decision of a joint entrance test. In the hard-hitting letter, the dissenting body says that the autonomy of the IITs must be restored. The letter requests the Prime Minister to let the IITs decide whether to accept, change or outrightly reject the new proposal by the HRD Ministry along with the IIT Council. PM gave us a very patient hearing. For about half an hour we were with the PM and we expressed all our concerns to him. He told us was that he does respect the autonomy of higher education institutions. He is very much concerned and he will talk to the minister about the, all the issues and also he requested us to continue talking and engage in dialogue. In another scene, the Chennai police have filed a charge sheet on Sazikala's relative Ravanan. Cheating over getting the licensing of sand quarry and several other cases have been filed on him. Our crime correspondent Salim has more on this. The Central Crime Branch of the Chennai City Police have filed charge sheets in two criminal cases in which Ravanan was arrested. Case number one, a Tirupur-based businessman approached the Central Crime Branch of the Chennai City Police and lodged a complaint against Ravanan. He, he alleged that Ravanan received one crore rupees promising sand quarry license but duped. A similar complaint was lodged by a Willow-based businessman. After investigating these two cases, the, the Ch Chennai police arrested Ravanan and several others in connection with the two cases and lodged them in Pudel prison. Now the police say that they have filed charge sheets in Saidapet court and Alandur court. The case is yet to be numbered. Once it is numbered, the police say the court will send notices to the accused persons following which trial will commence. The Madras High Court has asked the Chennai Corporation to put out the raging fire at the Palikarnai dumpyard in Chennai. The first bench of the court suggested that the state's Advocate General visit the site. 
A PIL had been filed seeking immediate action to douse the fire and take action to prevent future fires. Chennai Hill, Palbeer, Pagadigalil, Chennai Manoharachal, Kuvika Patta, Kuppai Kadangalil, and the Pugayum Ti Maka, Erindu Kondiri Kindra, this is Pala Pala Vardangalaga, and the Tay, the Pugay Vandu Kondiri Kindra, this is Samana Maka, we need the Mandatil, Valakut, Poduna Valakut, or Pata, Poduna Valakil, Tamil Arasi, the Samana Maka. It's another short break on news tonight. We'll be right back soon.